friends, thanks for joining me for Tassel Tuesday. I wanted to let you know real quick in the beginning of this uh, video that I am not going to be hosting Tassel Tuesday anymore. I'll still be making tassels. I will most likely still post them on Tuesdays and I will continue to use the hashtag Tassel Tuesday, but I just won't be hosting it any longer. So I might not be making them twice a month. Maybe I'll be making them more, maybe I'll be making them less, I'm not really sure. But I'm just moving on from that. It's been a wonderful collaboration and I appreciate all of you who have participated and I appreciate all of you who have watched my videos and all of the collaborators' videos on Tassel Tuesdays. So today I made a tassel to go with the Seaside journal that I had been working on. It was a custom order. I was thrilled to make this journal. It had been about two years since I had made a seaside journal. So I had a lot of fun making it. I enjoyed using all the blues and the blue greens and it was just a nice refreshing uh, change for me and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm wrapping some uh, fibers, as you can see. I'm wrapping them around this notebook that I happen to have. And uh, so that's how I'm gonna uh, create this particular tassel. You know sometimes I lay the fibers across the table but uh, this time I had some longer fibers that I was working with so uh, I decided I'd go ahead and wrap them and then ones that are too short I'm just draping them over and then I'll end up trimming them to the correct size once I'm done. I'm tying it off here and that will be the top of the tassel just so you know. Pulling it off of, well, I was getting ready to cut it, but then I remembered, no, 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 you don't do that until you pull it off, and then you can make sure you get the actual center. So, like I said, some of those that I had just draped over, um, they are a little longer, as you can see, so I'm just going to snip those off real quick. I love the colors that are in this tassel. They go beautifully with the colors that are in the journal. I have white... Um, blues, blue greens, teals, just a just a really pretty palette of colors. There's actually some pink inside of the uh, journal as well. Well now I'm going to go ahead and start making a couple of bead dangles that we are going to put in this tassel and not only are we going to have some bead dangles in there but we are also going to be hanging some shells on and inside of the tassel as well. You can see that I have put the fibers onto a lobster claw clasp and now I need to tie the uh, the piece around it that will secure those fibers into place and uh, because I use some eyelash trim and some other trims it's it's kind of puffy so I'm trying to sort of corral and secure those fibers so that I can more easily tie this piece around that secures everything the clothespins worked great they ended up being quite helpful Now that everything is tied into place, I'm going to trim it one more time. We've got a few that uh, are we're still a little bit longer. Well, now we're going to go ahead and add the bead dangles. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some larger singular beads. This one has like blue crystals on it, and so and it's got like a, a really wide opening. So I'm going to tie that straight on one of the trim pieces. And then I have another blue one. This one's a glass bead, but again, a very large center. So I'm gonna tie that on one of the trim pieces as well. So I think I wanna go ahead and add this shell. And so I wanna find a trim piece for that. And this shell, all the shells that I chose, I got off of my local beach and I looked for shells that uh, naturally had some holes in them and this one did. So I'm just trying to work that fiber through just so that I can tie it onto the tassel.
So we're going to continue to add the shells and the bead dangles and some pearls and just make this um, just a really wonderful addition to the journal. I hope everybody is doing really, really well. I will just give everybody a quick reminder about my Road to 2K giveaway challenge. And uh, the prize for the giveaway is going to be a handmade journal. And I'm asking anyone who would like to participate to go to that video, which I'll link in my description box, and uh, give me a suggestion of what kind of journal you'd like me to make, and then send me a piece of ephemera in the theme of the journal. All right, friends, she is finished and I just love her. So we've got eyelash trim. We have this nice crinkled trim. There's a name for this. I can't remember what it is. Uh, we've got some of this sort of bluey, purpley trim. We have this scrap fabric that I love. It's just so thin and fine and I just love it. And there's a little lace and then there's a piece of this. So what I wanted to show you, I want to kind of spread it out make sure that it's on camera. Okay, it is. And so what I did was I went through and I attached some of the bead dangles that I made, but I also attached shells. So look at these shells. So each blue piece has either an embellishment or a shell. And of course, some of the white ones too. Here's one. So what I did is I collected all these shells off of my local beach. I had to look for ones that had natural occurring holes in them so that I could put the jump ring or the o-ring there. Here's one of the embellishments that I made. Here's another shell. Here's another embellishment here. So I think she's just super pretty. Let me turn it over. So on this side we've got some more shells, but we also have this pretty bead. And as a matter of fact, there should be another Bead, but that is super sparkly but as we're looking through we'll see if we can find here it is so we have this nice blue sort of rhinestone crystal uh, one there oh and look at this one isn't that pretty I think you guys uh, maybe saw me wind that one onto there and then these I think you've got to see these from the other side because now I have it spread out pretty good. So there is our tassel for Tassel Tuesday. I hope you guys love it. I love it. Oh yeah, and actually let me put it on the journal that it's going with so that you can see it. All right friends, here is the journal. Uh, probably many of you have seen the flip through of it. And what we're gonna do now, backing up, excuse my desk, it is wild. Uh, I got a lot going on over here. But um, what I had to do was I actually had put the hole in uh, down a little further than my clip could fit. So if you guys ever make that, I don't wanna call it a mistake, but if you ever do that, it's a mistake if you think it's a mistake, but if you ever do that, then all you have to do is I had already put my brad in. So I took an O-ring, tied it to some material. This is just for decoration. Put an O-ring on this side, tied a little material on it for decoration. And then we can easily, let me, oh, first of all, listen to this. Listen to how satisfying this is. Doesn't that sound so nice? I love it. But now we can attach this to the o-ring right there and then if she chooses to take this off uh, she'll still have some little dangly fabric so it wouldn't be you know all by itself so there it is let me lay it on the table also so you can see how it would lay if she's got it on her table at home and then I'll take some pictures of it standing up so you can see it I know it's very hard to see it on this particular camera uh, the angle is awkward but at any rate friends I appreciate you spending some time with me thanks for watching see you soon